Boxing press conferences are rarely so subdued, but this is no ordinary fight. There are three heavyweight title belts at stake. But that's not the reason Anthony Joshua is receiving £60 million for his rematch with American Andy Ruiz. This man is... Hello, Your Highness. Prince Abdulaziz is charged with making Saudi Arabia the next great power in world sport, no matter the cost. The aim to repair a global image heavily tarnished by alleged human rights abuses. It won't surprise you to learn that, that many people don't want this fight in Saudi Arabia. Amnesty International have said that repression is worsening in this country and that it's a barbaric regime and, and this is a form of sports washing. What, what would you say to them? We do have mistakes like any other country, but there are changes, social changes that are happening that, uh, that, are, that, are, uh, that were driving uh, towards that. And hopefully things will get better as we, as, we, as, we, as we move on. And we are learning as well. Is there a perception problem? Because as a woman here, there's only certain times of the day that I can go swimming, for instance, in the hotel pool. I can't go to the hotel gym. Does that need to change if you're going to be taken seriously as a, as a world power with, in sport? Only two years ago, they weren't allowed to do any sports. Mm -hmm. uh, and now there are dedicated places that end. But we have to also respect what the people want as well and the culture that we have. So we, don't, we do want to change towards the, you know, uh, positive change and so on. But we also have to make sure that it's done in the right way, that we don't offend anyone. This stadium has taken just 47 days to build. On Saturday, it will host the biggest sporting event in Saudi Arabia's history. And they say, despite the controversy, this is just the start. Next, they're setting their sights on a football World Cup and an Olympics. In some ways, Saudi Arabia is modernising, undergoing a radical package of social reform. But this is a country which still carries out beheadings and is accused of launching a crackdown on critics at home. The man who secured Anthony Joshua the biggest payday in British boxing history is unapologetic. What, what do you say to people who say it, sport has no place coming here? Well, I mean, look, I don't want to push it on to other people and say, well, the WWE do it, the PGA Tour do it, Formula One do it with Formula E, and the Dow and Federer do it, but they do, and a lot of those are bigger organisations than ourselves. Boxing's different. Boxing's a fight sport. These guys are taking part in the most brutal, the most dangerous sport out there. And ultimately, they will fight where they will be paid as much money as possible. Just two years ago, it would have been inconceivable that Saudi Arabia might host such a sporting spectacle. Now they've got their big fight. The next challenge is proving to the world they deserve it. Martha Kellner, Sky News, Saudi Arabia.